Hello everybody, I'm Thomas. Welcome back to another video. This time I'm back with some more solo Starforged playthrough, where I will be picking up from my last few playthroughs with the adventures of Juro, AKA Wayfinder. If you haven't seen my previous playthroughs, I did a live stream where I started this playthrough and then I did another video following up the adventures. So I will have those both linked in the description, but I will also quickly summarize all that you really need to know and what's kind of happened so far. So the sector I am playing in is this place called the Haunted Channel. Uh, it's got a couple planets going on. We have Cinder with the settlement called Apex. We have Siren over here with the settlement of Lyra. We have, what is this, Magnus way over here with the settlement of Rust. And then kind of by itself over here, we have Felicity. Uh, my character is Juro, AKA Wayfinder. And for their assets, they have Empath and Diplomat. So I'm really going for a pacifist type character, someone that's trying to avoid combat at all costs, and is really trying to take the, the peaceful route, the more diplomatic route for dealing with different uh, disputes and whatnot. I also have a protocol bot named Book that uh, can help me out along the way. I have a ship named Firebreak, uh, doesn't have any upgraded assets at the moment. As for the notes about it, I inherited from my mentor named Dex. Uh, the quirks are things go missing for illogical reasons, which is pretty fun. And also that there can be faint uh, phantom music can be heard sometimes throughout the corridor. Um, I'll quickly go over my setting truths. I'm not going to go into these in detail, but I'll just kind of read the top parts of each of these. So for the Cataclysm, uh, we escape the ravages of a catastrophic war. For the Exodus, mysterious alien gates provide an instantaneous one-way passage to the forge. Uh, for communities, dangers abound, but there is safety in numbers. Many ships and settlements are united under the banner of the founder clans. As for iron, iron vows are sworn upon the remnants of ships that carried our people to the forge. For laws... Laws and governance vary across settled domains, but bounty hunters are given wide latitude to pursue their contracts. Their authority is almost universally recognized and supersedes local law. For religion, our faith is as diverse as our people. For magic, magic does not exist. Communication, data, information is life. We rely on space-borne carriers to transport messages and data across the vast distances between settlements. As for medicine, orders of sworn healers preserve our medical knowledge and train new generation of caregivers. For artificial intelligence, the vestiges of advanced machine intelligence are coveted and wielded by those in power. For war, war never ends. Uh, talented weaponsmiths and shipwrights craft deadly high-tech tools of destruction. Dominant factions wield mighty fleets and battle-hardened troops. As for life forms, uh, this is perilous and often inhospitable galaxy, but life finds a way. As for precursors, well, over aeons, a vast number of civilizations rose and fell within the forge. Today, those folks we call the Grub Scavenger crews and audacious explorers delve into the mysterious monuments and ruins of those ancient beings. And finally, for horrors, uh, most insist that horrors aren't real, spacers know the truth. So, as for my quest so far, my initial background vow was a vow to resolve the dispute between a group called the Commonwealth and a group called the Alliance. Uh, I have not really done much with either of these groups. I haven't really interacted with them much yet. That's something I hope to do soon. Um, one of my main allies that I've been talking to throughout this uh, campaign so far has been this person named Monarch. They are a higher up person, maybe not the leader necessarily, but somewhat higher up in this group called the Federation of Serene Menders. They're based out of the settlement here, Felicity, uh, and I've been doing kind of a lot with them. So the first quest I got was to go... Uh, get these healers back from these raiders. So essentially a reactor exploded on Lyra, killing several and exposing many others to lethal radiation. There was a team of healers en route to provide aid that were coming from Felicity to Lyra, and they were captured by raiders called, uh, the group is called the Silent Raiders. So I had to try to get in contact with the raiders, figure out what they want, negotiate a fair option, see if we pick up the healers and bring them back to Lyra. Um, so that was a whole, the first session was kind of dealing with that, and turns out there really wasn't any raiders, it was just the healers not really wanting to do their thing anymore, they kind of wanted to just go on their own way, so we helped resolve that whole thing, and that was all good there. When I got back to Felicity, Monarch mentioned that they, well, the reactor exploded on Nulira, and they were going to kind of need some more help cleaning that up and getting any healers, um, 
any people that like survivors on there need to be brought back to Felicity because Felicity has a lot of medical equipment. So that was my next quest was uh, helping clean up the reactor. And also we're trying to move the reactor. So they wanted me to help get any like parts from the reactor that were still usable and help try to rebuild this reactor kind of somewhere else. So that was what I worked on last session. The last video was to travel to Lyra, help provide medical help, resolve radiation, clean up the reactor, gather usable equipment, and then bring everything back to Felicity, which uh, pretty much happened with not too many issues. I ran into some issues along the way, but um, I think for the most part, it went pretty smoothly. So brought everything back to Felicity, talked with Monarch again, and asking, you know, what else can I do to help the uh, Federation of Serene Menders? And I learned of a person named Brick. That's their call sign. And uh, Brick is also someone kind of higher up in this Federation of Serene Menders. And Monarch had recently gotten word that some bounty hunter was after Brick. And so they wanted me to try to basically try to intercept the bounty hunter and negotiate with them, try to talk them down and kind of see what the situation was there. So that was my last quest was um, trying to do all of that. So uh, my kind of bullet points were trying to learn more about Brick and the bounty hunter, find Brick and get more information, make plans to deal with the bounty hunter, confront the bounty hunter, and hopefully just resolve the dispute. So uh, after I got the quest, I tried to get as much information from Monarch as I could. Basically, Monarch didn't know why this bounty hunter was after Brick. Uh, Brick is not on Felicity. He's They are currently on uh, Lyra, right? The, the settlement Lyra, yeah, on uh, the planet Siren. So I had to travel there, which is where I am now. Uh, but pretty much, more or less, Mark knows, knows nothing about this bounty hunter, doesn't know what they look like, what call sign they go by, what organization or group they're with. So he's kind of left in the dark, but he believes this is a reliable source and a reliable kind of threat and something that needs to dealt with. So that's why he sent good old Juro, aka Wayfinder, to go try to negotiate this bounty hunter down. Because as I kind of talked about in my uh, setting truce, bounty hunters kind of have a pretty they can kind of do whatever they want like in the terms of the laws people kind of respect bounty hunters so if someone's after this brick guy then i need to help try to resolve this or else brick might just get killed so that's what's going on um so i started traveling to lyra and i just arrived pretty recently uh that was the last thing i did and i need to now start looking for brick in the hopes that they're still alive, that the bounty hunter hasn't gotten to them yet, and then hopefully get more information from them about who could be after them, why, what can be done, how I can negotiate with this bounty hunter, who it might be, and then try to find the bounty hunter, and then, you know, try to resolve this dispute. Um, so yeah, hopefully I got all the details right. It's been a while since I last played. I did just recently rewatch my last video, but, um, yeah, it's been, you can see in uh, Foundry, it shows when the last session was. So 251 days ago, as of recording, this was the last time I played. So it's been a while, and I think the initial session was uh, 294 days ago. So I messed up a few details, my bad, but I'll try to do my best to, uh, you know, get everything correct. So before I start, um, I do have some experience that I earned from completing my first few quests. I, I have two experience points and I want to go ahead and spend both of them to upgrade one of my main assets that I feel like I've been using and I will continue to be using is my diplomat asset. Uh, so right now I have the first kind of part of it unlocked, which says when I swear an iron vow to resolve a dispute, uh, negotiate an agreement or gather support, I can add plus one and then on a strong hit, I can mark progress on that quest. And then when I fulfill a vow on a diplomatic mission that has to be formidable or greater, and I score a hit, I can also mark two ticks on the Bond's legacy track. Pretty sweet. I'm going to get this next part of the upgrade, which says when you make a move to defuse a uh, reason or negotiate, I can add plus one. And then on a miss, I can take a different tap. So I can envision my new approach, reroll all the dice and add plus two. And then if I score a miss yet again, then I have to face a dire complication or blow to my reputation as I pay the price. So that's pretty much it. And that's kind of where we're starting today. I want to say tentatively, my goal for this session is to hopefully A, complete this quest, resolve it, and you know, save Brick, ideally. 
Um, but then I was kind of looking at my legacy tracks. Like I haven't done any discovering at all, and I haven't really made many bonds besides with Monarch, and I haven't really even been tracking that 100% right. So I think after I complete this quest, hopefully I get that done here soon if there's no major complications, um, I'm probably just going to try to go to different settlements, explore the settlements a little bit, maybe just interact with people. I may not even just swear an Iron Vow, just kind of go settlement to settlement, meeting people, trying to learn more about the different groups, the Silent Raiders, the Federation of Serene Menders. I could start learning about the, the Commonwealth and the Alliance, which are all part of my background vow. Maybe just fly out into deep space and try to find some planets to discover and see what's going on there. So if I finish this quest, this session, I think afterwards I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, not swear another Iron Vow right away and kind of flesh out the sector a bit more in some of these settlements. Okay, so we're on Lyra, and with my current quest, I have roughly three kind of steps to go on my progress track till it's kind of maxed out. So I envision that it essentially entails me finding Brick, then me working with Brick to come up with a solution to try to resolve this dispute with the bounty hunter, and then finally the last step will just be me confronting the bounty hunter and hoping I can come to some agreement with them. So we're, we just arrived at Lyra. We had a strong hit getting here, so it we had a bit of a, uh, a rough time getting to Apex. We got lost along the way, which caused us to get pretty stressed, lost some momentum, and getting to Lear, though, we kind of picked up the speed and uh, got here pretty quickly. So as a quick reminder for Lyra, this is not a huge settlement, so it's a planet side on this ocean world, Siren. Uh, it has a population of hundreds, It's there's no authority, it's pretty lawless, which is an unfortunate spot to be tracked by a bounty hunter. Uh, settlement projects include mining and entertainment, uh, has like rustic architecture, precarious locations, and failing technologies, which works pretty well considering they had a reactor blow up not too long ago and I had to go help fix that. So I guess my first order of business is maybe trying to see if I can find because I unfortunately didn't ask Monarch. He he knows Brick is on Lyra, but we don't know where. And it's not a huge settlement, so I think I need to try to find people from the uh, Federation of Serene Menders, and then maybe they'll know where Brick is since they're associated with them. So I think that's my first order of business, is trying to find some outpost or, I don't know, some like some place that the Federation of Serene Menders is on this settlement that I could find someone that might know. So I think that will just entail me doing a gather information role and seeing if I can gather some info. Which I don't really think I have any extra stuff to add, so I'm just rolling plus wits. So let's see. Looks like a strong hit. I don't know why the dice didn't show up on the screen. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, let me just test this. I think I just had to re-enable some modules. There we go, now dice are showing up, my bad. But uh, this was a strong hit. So you discover something helpful and specific, the path you must follow and actions you must take, make progress is made clear, envision what you learn, then take plus two momentum. Um, so let me take plus two momentum before I forget about that part. And I think it makes sense. I'm looking for people like a like an office of the the serene menders or like a you know just some spot that they have that um, they work out of. And essentially, I just need to find some people to talk to. And I find I'm um, looking around at some of the different stores and whatnot, and I see a sign for a Federation of Serene Menders outpost or whatever. So uh, I go inside and start. Uh, talking to some people, whoever I see there first. Maybe they just have some, you know, receptionist type person that is uh, sitting at the front. And uh, let me go ahead and maybe get a, what's it called? A uh, call sign for them. So I have something to, to call them by. Uh, and they call themselves Overload. Um, and they they probably welcome me into the, the, to the office asking me what I need. And I say, well, um, I ask, uh, I don't know if I should just lead with asking it about Brick, but because this is kind of a weird situation where maybe I'll, hmm, I'm, sure, I'm trying to think of what I should lead with, whether they know Brick or Monarch. I mean, I could probably ask both at some point. Um, I'm just trying to think of what makes the most sense for my first move. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the Ask the Oracle in the chat because I'll be using this in a second. Uh, 
I guess I could just lead with, do you know somebody in your organization named Brick? I just, maybe I'll explain up front that I've been sent from Felicity by Monarch to go find someone named Brick because they could be in danger. Do you know somebody named Brick? Uh, I'm gonna go with likely since this isn't a huge settlement and yeah, we'll see what I get. Uh, that's a no. I also, I still didn't show up on the screen. Hold on. Okay, well, I tried messing with my modules. I don't know. I recently did some updates to Foundry, so something must not be working right with showing the dull, the dice going across the screen. So I apologize, but um, I mean, it still shows up in chat and I'll be narrating kind of what's going on, but you won't be able to see the dice just go flying across the screen. Um, so no, they don't know Brick. Okay, well, I'll be like, well, this is kind of an urgent matter. Here was the name Overload. Um. Is there any way, do you have like a manager, a supervisor, a boss, someone here that I could talk to that might know who that is and could point me in the right direction? Um, I think once again, that's, I think it's almost certain whether the boss or manager actually knows them, that's gonna be another different role, but I think it's almost certain there's someone I could talk to. Uh, that's a 73, so that is a yes. There is uh, someone else here, uh, higher up, maybe we'll say leading this little, section of the the federation three menders on lyra so um i will ask to speak with them and hopefully they're around right now um let's see if they are i'll be like are they around right now uh and i went with likely and that is a yes that they are in the little office area wherever mini hospital i don't really know what it is but um they say they are around so i was like well if you could go get them this is a pretty time sensitive matter obviously you know i'm not trying to be pushy but it could this is kind of a life or death situation so time is of the essence so i imagine they uh they get up go to the back a few minutes later they come out with another person and um they say uh here is my boss and uh let me maybe roll for another another uh call sign name that uh this person can be so who am i talking to who is the boss here jester we'll say uh the receptionist comes back out and he uh he gestures to this woman that's standing there and uh he's like here's here's jester my uh my manager here my boss um and uh, I say uh, hello there, Jester. Nice to meet you. Yada yada yada. I give I give her the spiel, or yeah, I give her the spiel that like, you know, I've been sent from Felicity. Someone named Monarch sent me. It's just kind of a time sensitive and it's just a sensitive matter. All in all, um, I don't know if you have an office. We can maybe go speak more privately about this. Um, I think it's almost certain she'll hear me out at least. And she's like, sure, go back to my office and we can talk about it there. So I'm like, great, let's go. We need to get going. I don't know, you know, where this bounty hunter is. I don't know if Brick's safe. I don't know if he's hiding or just, you know, at the tavern having a drink like every other day. So we go back to her office and I kind of give her the rundown of who I am. You know, I'm Juro, Wayfinder. You can call me Wayfinder though. Um, and I tell her that um, you know, I've, I've been helping Monarch on Felicity, which I'll quickly ask like while I'm giving my spiel, like, have you, do you know Monarch? Are you familiar with them? Um, I'm going go with Likely. They do know Monarch. Cool. That makes us a little bit more credible. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, Monarch sent me because he, Monarch got word that there's a possible bounty hunter after uh, someone in your organization named Brick. Do you happen to know who Brick is? I think this is almost certain. I'd be shocked if she didn't. And she does. She's like, yes, I am. I am familiar with Brick. I'm like, great. Well, like I said, there is a bounty hunter after him. So we need I need to find him, talk to him, and try to figure this out. Do you know where Brick is at the moment? Um I'm gonna go with probably not. She probably doesn't know where he is at the moment. Maybe she knows where I can find him, but like, do you know where he is right now by any chance? Uh she's like, nope haven't seen him in a while i'm like oh god okay well that's not what you want to hear when you're looking for somebody and there's a bounty hunter after them it's like no nah, i haven't seen him in a while okay so i guess um 
I'll ask her, I'm like, do you know where Brick lives? Where I could possibly find them? Because like I said, life or death kind of situation, time sensitive situation. I need to get going on this or else something bad could happen. Um, I think it's, it's almost certain she'll have at least an idea of where I could find him. Whether he's there or not is another question. Um, so yes, yeah, she has some idea. She's like, well, I mean, I'll give you the location of his, like, where he lives. Um, and also he frequents, maybe there's like a, like a, like a restaurant nearby that he likes going to. So we'll say that, um, those are maybe the two spots I could try to hit up to see if I can find him. And I'm like, great. Um, you've been very helpful. I appreciate all your help. I will do my best to try to save, uh, Brick for you. Before I go though, I should ask her. I'll say, um, you know, hey there, Jester, do you know why there would be somebody after Brick? I think I'm gonna go with Likely. I feel like, well, I'll go 50-50, because I don't really know. She might have some idea, she might not. Let's see. Um, she's like, well, the news doesn't surprise me. And I'm like, really? Well, let's hear it. Spill the tea, sister. What's, uh, wh what could Brick be up to that they would have a bounty hunter set set after them? Um, and this is going to be a good question because I don't know. We can maybe use some oracle rules to get an idea. Um, like action or theme? Let me see which one would maybe work better. I guess probably action. Because I want to know what, what Brick did to get a bounty hunter essentially get sent after him. Um, so let's see... Finish and debate. Like, I gotta remember Brick is part of this, the Federation of Serene Menders also, so there could be some connection there with what's going on. Finish and debate or debate finish. Hmm. I like the idea that maybe there was some incident with a group. Um, I don't, maybe I can come up with a name for this group. Uh, maybe it's a group I already know. Um, I like the idea that maybe, like, let's just say there was some conflict on Lyra with some group. Let me get a name for them, because I don't like just saying some group. Uh, maybe, is it a group I know? I'm gonna go 50-50. Yes, it's a group I know. Interesting. Is it the... Is it the Commonwealth? I kind of want to start tying them into the story, so let's see. Maybe that, that could be kind of fun. Uh, no, it's not the Commonwealth. Is it the Alliance? No, it's not the Alliance. Okay, then that means the only other group I know then is the Silent Raiders. Interesting. Okay. This is these Silent Raiders and the, the, the presence on Lyra. Um, I guess maybe, were they even on Lyra? I don't know, who knows? Um, dang, I kind of wanted one of those to say yes to, uh, well, yeah, those, those are both no, aren't they? So, I think in my eyes, what happened was there was some group that maybe maybe it was like some some of the, the, the people on Lyra, there was some incident with the people on Lyra and the Silent Raiders. And basically, Brick was pretty vocal in defending the actions of the people on Lyra, even though they were pretty maybe aggressive towards the Silent Raiders. Maybe, I don't know, the people on Lyra did like attack some of the silent raiders and then brick was maybe the this the federation of serene menders is supposed to be more like neutral and even though this was aggressive action brick and this federation of serene menders kind of side with the people on lyra because that's where they're kind of positioned at right now um and the silent raiders didn't really like that so it seems like brick kind of was pretty vocal in this this debate and like how to um because i think maybe the silent raiders wanted to try to finish off the people we were and brick's like no you gotta you can't attack them like i we're gonna just you know the brick was essentially siding with the people in Lyra, and so there was this like i guess i'm just, if it's like finished debate it was like the silent raiders kind of want to finish off the people on Lyra or some of the people on Lyra, and there was this debate going on and Brick try to like talk him out and be like, no, we're, like we're we're siding with them. If you attack them, you attack us essentially, the Serene Menders. So um maybe the Silent Raiders like backed off or at least acted like they're backing off, and then they hired a bounty hunter, or maybe one of the bounty hunters is just like 
part of the Silent Raiders to try to go just hunt Brick down and kill them because they kind of slighted the Raiders. That's my interpretation. So that's what we're going with. So at least that's what um, that's what Jester is hop- hypothesizing. Is she's like, well, there's this whole conflict and yada 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 yada. So okay, well now I have some idea of where to find Brick, why he's being hunted, and maybe who he's being hunted by roughly. Um, I'll be like, final question then. So if you think this bounty hunter was either part of the Silent Raiders or hired by the Silent Raiders, do you possibly know where I can find Silent Raider group members here on Lyra to possibly go talk to about this issue? Um, I'm gonna go with likely. Let's see though. Yes, she's like, well, we'll say that they, um, they have a, uh, Maybe they own, they own a they own a bar here on or maybe they don't own a bar but there's like a bar that pretty much is like a silent raiders bar that they pretty much only frequent so she's like oh if you want to go find them you need to just head to this I don't know what the name of the bar is gonna be but we'll just say the silent raider bar essentially um she's like you might need to go uh, there if you want to find them but she's like you know oh, that might be kind of risky but you do you I'm like okay so. That's, that's that's a lot of info. So Jester's been very helpful. I thank her for her time, and I will say, you know, I'll do my best to save Brick, um, and hopefully just resolve this dispute without anybody getting hurt, and try to be as peaceful as possible with this. So I thank her for her time, and I'm like, I gotta go. T- clock's ticking. This bounty hunter might. I mean, it seems like they're already on Weira, but hopefully, Brick has remained pretty well hidden. Um, I guess I I should ask, like, has anybody? talked before i leave i'll be like jester has anybody talked to you or anybody in this like office i'm just called an office um or in this building about brick like has someone come in trying to find them i don't know we'll say 50 50. she's like yeah at some point someone tried talking to the receptionist uh overload and overloads like Overlord just kind of told him off, like, I don't I don't know where Brick is, I haven't seen him in a while, so sorry, I can't help you. Um, and then they didn't really... So it sounds like at some point someone did come by looking for him, uh, but didn't really get any info. They were kind of just stonewalled, so that's good. At least they didn't give up any information about Brick, but... <sighs> okay, cool. Let's go try to find Brick. So I will leave the office here and... Go to the location that Brick is supposedly uh, staying at, his residence. So I will go there, knock away on the door, and um, see if anybody comes to the door. And whoops, I did not mean to zoom in, I meant to scroll up. And does somebody come to the door? I'm gonna go with likely. Well, I don't know, does someone come to the door? Um, I guess we could. We, let's go with likely. It might not be Brick. Uh, it could be the bounty hunter. It could be, you know, someone Brick lives with. I think it's likely that's... If I'm going to the residence, someone is probably there. Uh, yes, someone is there. Um, I imagine I know what Brick looks like. Like, I've got... I've been given a description of Brick, so once I see him, I'll be able to tell it's him. Um, so I maybe knock on the door. Maybe they don't open right away, but I just hear a voice on the other side of the door that's like, who is it? And so I... You know, introduce myself. I'm like, they call me Wayfinder. I've been sent from Felicity by Monarch. I need to speak with Brick. This is a very urgent matter. Are is are you Brick? Is Brick around? Um. And let's see. So I'm trying to think of the question I want to ask. Probably just is um is the person I'm. Let's see. We'll do. Does, does a person open the door? Um, I think it's likely. No, they don't open the door. Um, so they don't open the door. Is it brick, though? Is it? Do they say they're brick? I think it's likely. <laughs> no, it's not brick. Okay, so they don't open the door. They're like, brick's not here. And I'm like, okay. Um, who am I speaking with? And we'll just say, like, oh, this is... This is Rick. This is Brick's brother. I'm like, okay. Well, Rick, um, this is urgent. Has Brick been around recently? Has somebody been looking? Because someone's out to kill him. Like, I need to find him soon to get him to a safe spot. Does he know someone's after him? Like, what's going on? 
Um, it sounds like from the talks I just had with Jester that even though someone came by, it seems like uh, my understanding is Brick does not know that somebody's after him right now, which is not a good spot to be in. Um, so I'm like, Rick, listen, I need to find your brother. He's he's in danger. Can you tell me where to find him? Um, does he tell me where to find him? I think it's likely. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try to compel. I'll maybe I'll do a compel roll instead of just doing this. This seems more. I haven't done that in a while. So I think that's under connection. No adventure. Compel. Um, and we'll say yeah, I'm probably trying to. I guess I'm trying to like rule plus heart here. I think that's what makes the most sense to me because I'm trying to charm or pacify or encourage them um, just to tell me where I can find Brick. Oh, now the dice show up. Cool. Well, I don't know why that happens now. That's not the Oracle rule. And that's a strong hit. So, and they're like, I wonder, I'm going to, I'll ask an Oracle rule. Is Brick actually home? And was Rick just lying because they know someone's already after him? Is Brick here? Um... I'm gonna go 50 50 because I don't know. Brick is there. Interesting. And Rick's like, well, I'll be honest. I was lying to you. Brick is actually home. Wait, hold on. So then, is Rick really Brick? Does Brick not even exist? Now I'm really curious. Um, I'll be like, well, if Rick's here, wait. I, I ask him, like, are you lying? Okay, if you're lying to me about Brick in the first place. Are you really brick then? Were you just trying to be safe? Because if so, like I understand, I completely understand. But I, time is of the essence. I'm I'm here to help. I sent by monarch. I just talked to Jester. I'm pretty credible, dude. All right. So is this actually? Is am I actually talking to Brick? And you just made up someone named Rick? I think it's likely. That seems kind of funny. Yeah. And and Brick is like, ah, you got me. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually. I'm actually Brick, and I'm like, all right, well, first off, you need to come up with a better fake name, but can you let me in? I want to, I'm here to help. So he unlatches the door. I can hear him, like, undo multiple locks. I can hear him, like, moving a chair out in front of the door. So clearly he knows somebody's after him, which is good that he's taking some caution, but also staying in his house may not be the best idea. So that might be the first move is trying to get him somewhere safe. But he lets me in. Um, when he opens the door, you know, I'm... I try to like hold up my hands, like I'm unarmed, not gonna hurt you, I'm, I'm here to help, you know, try to be very non-threatening. Um, and yeah, he, when he opens the door, I see him and it more or less matches exactly the description I was given, you know, same hair type, same hair color, height, overall weight and appearance uh, seems to match what I've been told. So he kind of looks around the corner after he opens the door and then gestures for me to come inside. I come inside um you know, maybe i'm you know, make sure i like wipe my shoes off be a polite house guest um and he probably you know quickly closes the door locks all the locks puts the chair back in front and um maybe he uh just gestures me for him for me to sit down at uh, his kitchen table with him uh maybe he uh offers me a drink i was like i'll just I'll just take some water sounds good i'm like i can use some water so pours a glass of water it sits down across from me i was like well brick Kind of give you the spiel a little bit outside, but um, I kind of give him the the whole the whole story so far. You know who I am. I was hired by Monarch. What I know so far. I talked to Jester. What I knew then. Yada yada yada. And now I'm here. Uh, he's like, oh, I'm like, so you're aware someone's after you, right? And he's like, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think staying in your house. It's a great idea. I mean, I found you, but it's just because of Jester. But if she knows, I mean, well, the more people that know where you are, the worse. So I think what we need to do first is maybe get you somewhere safe. And then we should try to talk a game plan on how to save you. Because I don't, personally, I don't think you're safe here. Maybe you feel comfortable here. I don't think that's a good idea. More people know where you are, the, the worse is going to be for you. Um, so I think you should, uh, we should move you somewhere safer, maybe just like a hotel or something or some, some other place for like a day till I can try to help resolve this issue. Um, maybe I'll do a compel roll. Maybe he doesn't want to leave, but I'll, I'll try, see what I can do. Cause I think this is the better option for him. Uh, it's a weak hit, so they'll do what you want, but their agreement comes with a demand or complication movement plus one. 
I'm trying to think of what the demand or complication could be. I think there could be a couple things, like maybe it's, it could be something kind of, not silly, but it could be like he has a pet, and he's like, well, if I'm leaving, I gotta bring whiskers with me. Um, that could be a thing. Maybe he's just nervous about uh, going, so maybe he, he would ask to wait till night, and like that I go with him to make sure, you know, he's safe. Even though I'm not, if someone tries to fight, like, I'll try to talk him down, but I don't, I don't have any weapons, really, I don't think, on me. Do I have any weapons? I don't think I would have any weapons on me. I might just have like a knife for like like a, like a Swiss Army pocket knife type thing as a more of a utility, but also like I, I probably don't have myself completely unequipped because though I am a pacifist, they're all also just you know beasts and creatures out there that um, you can't really you know talk to or try to yeah try to talk your way out of a situation that you might just have to fight. So um, I like the idea that maybe he's I, I'm, I'm gonna go with both ideas. He's like well a I got whiskers my cat here that i gotta take care of so he's gotta come with us and also i don't know who's watching so i wouldn't want to leave right now during the day i'd rather wait till night you know i'll try to get a bit of a disguise on and we'll go somewhere a nearby hotel and he's like i'm also maybe the other the other there'll be a couple complications just minor ones so he has a cat that he has to bring along he wants to wait till night when it's more safe which i'm fine with he also is maybe a bit short on money since he's been not not he's been not able to go to work because of this whole situation. So he needs me to pay the the fare, not the fare, but the the fee for the hotel, which I'm like, totally, I'll help you out, man. I got I got money to spare, so totally fine. Um, well, I guess if we're just going to wait till night, let's let's talk a little bit now then. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to even talk to him about first. Okay, so I'll start with um, just trying to see. So obviously he already knows somebody is after him. So I guess my next question will be, do you know who is after you? And, and then I'll probably have to follow it up with, do you know why they're after you? But we'll start with, uh, do you know who is after you or who might be after you, I guess? Um, I think it's likely. He's like, yeah. He's like, I have the feeling I kind of pissed off the Silent Raiders with this whole debate between the people of Lyra and the Silent Raiders, and I was pretty vocal about it, so there's a good chance that they could be they could be after me. I was like, well, I think you might be right, because that's the same thing that Jester told me when I talked to her. So that seems to be the case. Um so it was it about this I just assume he just said it was probably about this whole debate between you know, the, the, this one group in Lyra that had this conflict with the Silent Raiders and how they how he kind of was trying to help uh, put an end to the debate and like not let it boil over anymore. But uh, clearly, the Silent Raiders are now kind of mad at him. Um, I'm like, do you know? Do you know who is that? Like, do you know, is the Silent Raiders after you or is it like a group they hired? Um, I guess first I'll ask, do you have any idea of if it's the Silent Raiders or not. Um, I don't know, let's go with 50-50. So he knows whether or not it is the Silent Raiders. Is it the Silent Raiders after him or is it some other group? It is not the Silent Raiders. So it seems like he has an inkling that um, it is a group, not the Silent Raiders themselves, but someone they hired out. And maybe that's just because if there's a small group of these Silent Raiders on Lyra, then maybe like they, they would, you know, it's a small settlement. So like, people, if, he, like, yeah, I guess if like one of the Silent Raiders was trying to out to get them, like it would be pretty well known that it's the Silent Raiders doing this. So I think this, it seems like the Raiders kind of want to not have their fingerprints on this. So they they're kind of hiring out a bounty hunter to just do their dirty work for them and be like, oh, <laughs> bounty hunter hired to kill you. That's strange. Well. Seems to go well with what they want. Um, so, okay, also I get to mark progress on this, I forgot, because I did find Rick, which is good. Um, so he knows someone's after him. He knows it's not the Silent Raiders. Whatever the group is, doesn't really matter. Um, it's probably just some bounty hunter organization. So maybe let's come up with a name for this bounty hunter faction. So let's get a name template and it's Legacy Affiliation. So it's the... Infernal Imperium is the name of this faction of bounty hunters. So let me add that to my factions. Okay, 
Um, then I guess my next question is, have you seen the person after you? Like, have they come by the house? Have you already been attacked? Like, do you, have you seen this person yet that's after you? I'm gonna go with unlikely, but maybe. Uh, that's a no, he has not seen the person after him. Uh, he has maybe, then how does he know someone's after him? Maybe he's just gotten word, um, well, A, that someone came by his workplace looking for him that seemed shady. And then also, hmm, how else would he know that someone's after him? He hasn't, they haven't seen him. Maybe that's some like, he's sort of like knocking at the door and then he comes by and there's like no one there. Like just some weird stuff going on that's made him really suspicious. And maybe he hasn't had any hard evidence that someone's after him, but he's had an inkling since this whole debate with the Silent Raiders went down that he hasn't been left in good standing with us and maybe he's been a little bit cautious. So he's, uh, now a bit not paranoid but it seems like paranoid kind of for the right reasons because someone actually is after him okay cool well now what so i guess at this point um i i say well let's try to let's try to figure out kind of a plan here because i've been i've been summoned here to try to talk down this bounty hunter that's after you from i guess the infernal imperium what do you, I mean, I'll ask him, like, do you have any suggestions on what I could say to them to help resolve this dispute? Like a negotiation that could be made, some way I can talk them down. Um, I'll be like, do you know, well, first off, do you know much about the Infernal Imperium? I'm gonna go with 50-50. No, he doesn't know much about him. He obviously knows of them, but not really any details um, regarding that. So, huh. So he doesn't really have any good info or clues or weeds that can help me negotiate with this bounty hunter. So that's kind of an issue, but you know, I'm pretty good at negotiating. So I think maybe me and this bounty hunter can come to an agreement if it comes to that, hopefully. So, okay. Um, I ask like, do you think, okay, if I can't re, if you don't have any ideas of how I could negotiate with the bounty hunter, what about the silent raiders? Since they hired the bounty hunter, maybe if I go to them, negotiate with them they could just call off the bounty hunter and then that's kind of like a, a bit of a loophole that i don't have to deal with the bounty hunter if i just deal with the silent raiders and then they call off the bounty hunter um so i'll say do you have any ideas of how to maybe get them not wanting to kill you anymore uh and i think it's maybe likely that he has some idea he's like no he's like i tried but they're they're pretty upset with this group on lira getting in a fight with them and that we sided with the group on lira so they're, they're not too happy. And I'm like, great, great. It's like, okay. Well, maybe, I guess, I, I kind of think my my plan of action maybe should, really should be going to the Raiders first, trying to talk with them. Because I don't know what this bounty hunter looks like. I don't know how to find them. So I think I just need to probably go find the Raiders first, go to the source, see, because even if this bounty hunter gets negotiated, like they're a bounty hunter, they're getting paid for this. So I think it's going to be a lot harder to negotiate with them rather than the actual Silent Raiders. So, okay. I think that's kind of the plan. So I think I'll be like, okay, here's the plan, Brick. I will be back here at 11 p.m. once it's late. You make sure you lock the door when I leave, pack your bags, get whiskers ready to go to a hotel, um, you know, find your biggest hat and trench coat to try to disguise yourself, some glasses, whatever. It will take some back alleys or maybe main roads. I don't know what would be better, back alleys or main roads, but we'll, we'll get, we'll take the best uh, way that provides the most cover, I guess, to the nearest hotel. Maybe not the nearest hotel, maybe like the second nearest hotel. Because um, if you just go around the block, that might be kind of obvious. So we'll go like maybe one a little bit like across town. Also, I don't imagine there's too many hotels or taverns because this is a fairly small settlement so uh but regardless i'll be like i'm gonna go rest up for a bit and maybe try to find some more information about the silent raiders and then i'll be back we'll get you moved and then try to figure out a little bit more of a game plan on how to deal with the silent raiders he's like cool sounds good i was like all right peace and so i i kick out of there chug the rest of my water uh thank him for his time say i'll be back be ready and so i uh leave and as i leave i hear him lock all the doors again i hear the chair get kind of uh 
scooched in front of the door and propped up against the door. Um, I'm like, okay, cool. So I will then take some time in Lyra and I'm gonna do the Sojourn move because I am a little bit low on spirit. Uh, and I think that would be a good thing to do now as I kind of just kill time waiting for night. So let me go ahead and do that. Hopefully I can regain some stuff here. That does not look great. This is a miss, oh boy. So I choose one, either the community needs your help or makes a costly demand in exchange for safe harbor, vision what they ask of you, or you find no relief and the situation grows worse. So I'm trying to think of how to make the situation worse. Um, I mean, I think, I don't know, I, I can choose one. So either the community needs help, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just go with the second option, which is I find no relief. And the situation grows worse um and how i think that could work is i was just trying to essentially socialize um so i'll knock my supply down one as i've probably spent money to go get a drink somewhere maybe just go and relax somewhere and even though i spent the money it doesn't really help me relax i'm still pretty stressed out my spirit is low um i'll also say since this just kind of wasted time maybe i'll also do minus one momentum that sounds like a good enough pay the price for me um, and we'll say it's probably now like evening-ish time. I think I'm gonna just try to, I think there's probably enough time for me to try to sojourn one more time. I'm gonna go it again. We'll see if it works this time as I really just try to unwind and relax a little bit, socialize a little bit. I'm not even trying to like gather info at this time. I'm just trying to gain my spirit back a little bit. So see if I'm able to. Um, it's a weak hit, so. A time is short or resources are strained. You and your allies may make one recover move, but okay, so I can still make one recover move and instead of rolling, I assume an automatic strong hit. So the main one I wanted to do was hearten where I go socialize and find a moment of peace. Um, and on a strong hit, since my spirits chill, I get basically plus three because it's plus two. And then since I did sojourn plus one, even though I only need plus two to be maxed out. And we'll say that, um, you know, I spent some money trying to buy drinks for people and it's like, they just kind of took the drinks. I didn't really get to socialize much, so it didn't really help my stress. So maybe I just um, try to go find a nice pier to go sit on. This is an ocean world. We're on a colony a planet side. So they probably have some nice uh, views of the ocean world in different parts. So I imagine I just go find a nice pier Maybe grab a little bite to eat and uh, just try to relax a bit, uh, de-stress, and try to gain some of my spirit back, which I am uh, pretty great at doing this time. So that's successful. So at this point, I just kill some time. Um, maybe I will go... I don't want to go to that Raider Tavern yet. Um, so maybe I'll just... I don't know if I want to gather information because I don't really have anything specific I want to ask. Um, yeah, we'll just, you know what? We'll just chill. We'll just enjoy the view, kill some time exploring the city a little bit. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll ask around, do a gather information roll in my time and see if I can find anything about the Commonwealth, the, the, the faction, the Commonwealth, and specifically if they're like located here at all. Um, if there's any, you know, Commonwealth people here, if they have, you know, an, like a, a building here, or if they're kind of an established faction in Lyra, is my thing I'm trying to gather information about. So let's see if I'm able to gather any information about um, the Commonwealth, which uh, it provides new insight, but also complicates your quest. Envision what you discover and take plus one momentum. So what I'm envisioning is I, I, I get new insight, but it complicates my quest. Um, I imagine that maybe the Commonwealth is uh, not super welcome here, <laughs> that people don't really like the Commonwealth, and that uh, that maybe the people of Lyra and the Silent Raiders are kind of at odds with this Commonwealth group. Uh, so, that's, so I do maybe get a little bit of information about them, but it's mainly that the people here don't really like them for some reason. And maybe I don't quite have a full picture of why that is but at least i know i could dig around later and maybe get some more information which is great okay so i've killed some time relaxing by the pier also asking around a bit about the commonwealth faction learned that they're not the most well loved around here and 
you know, by this time, it's probably later in the uh, evening at this point, and it's getting close to the time to meet back up with Brick. So I start uh, getting ready and trek across town back to Brick's place, where right around 11 o'clock, go up, knock on the door, and I say, hey, it's me, Wayfinder, let's go. And so I hear the all the locks being unlocked, and uh, he opens the door, and he's in a hat and like sunglasses. He's got his little cat carrier under him, maybe a like a bag with just some like overnight stuff and you know cat stuff. Uh, and he's like, "Let's go!" I'm like, great. Um, let's go head to this not near not the nearest hotel, but maybe like one of the like or slash tavern, but like somewhere a little bit further away. Okay, so I maybe just do a a. a Oracle role to see do we encounter any issues while trying to get to this hotel. I'm gonna go with unlikely because we're, we're taking pretty good precautions. It's late at night, he's disguised. I probably take some weird routes, maybe go backtrack a little bit, do like not a direct route, maybe like make sure we're not being followed, stuff like that. Do we encounter any issues? I'm gonna go unlikely, but it could still happen. Um, and thankfully it is a no. We get to the hotel uh on this planet pretty safely and uh i pay the fee i check in under my name just so his name isn't here because uh, i'm also paying the fee i guess um i get a room key go outside and uh go to the room we get in fine lock the doors i'm uh, doing all the locks and stuff and he you know lets his cat out and starts cat starts sniffing around the room kind of uh just getting a, a, a a vibe of the place vibe and um i'm like all right so we need to try to i need to you, I, you need to help me out we need a little bit more information here there brick um i need to because i'm gonna go try to talk to the silent raiders first so obviously they don't like you what could i i just like i need some more information like do you have <clears throat> any idea of something i could tell them whether maybe a compromise that can be made or something you could offer to make them not as angry at you some amends you can make like do you have any ideas of what you could do to possibly help this situation i'm gonna go with likely maybe he doesn't um yes he has some ideas he was like well i was giving it some thought um and i came up with a couple of ideas uh mainly my idea is oppose and arrive so I think I'm actually going to do an action and theme roll. Find warning. Hmm. Uh, let me get another theme roll because I don't... It's not that I hate warning. Find corruption. Huh. So his... I kind of like that suggestion a little bit better. So I'm going to try to work with that instead. So something he's like, well, <clears throat> if you want to negotiate with them, it's going to be doing something with finding corruption, I guess. Um, let me think about that for a second. Okay, well, since since the issue was kind of, there was this group on Lyra. I'm not gonna say it's all of the, you know, population of Lyra as itself, but there was some group part of Lyra that had this conflict with the Silent Raiders, where it, if you look at it kind of objectively, it seems like this group on Lyra was in the wrong but then the Silent Mender, the Federation of the Menders kind of sided with the group on Lyra and not the Silent Raiders. And that's why Silent Raiders are kind of mad. And so I think what uh, Brick is proposing is trying to probably go say, um, go talk to the Silent Raiders and be like, try to say that I can help find the corruption in, in this group that that were the ones that did this um that had this conflict with the, the silent raiders and essentially go talk with them and because like at the end of the day like the the federation of the serene menders like they were just they did side with the people of Lyra, but yeah, I don't know. It, they're, they're, they're more neutral. It wasn't like they really hated the Raiders or anything in this situation, but they really probably shouldn't have side with the Menders, but, or the, the people of Lyra. Um, but essentially he's saying, well, if you try to say to the Raiders that you'll, with this group on Lyra, try to find who is maybe, who is to blame for this incident that happened, that maybe then they could target the person 
that did this incident and not just someone who kind of sided with this with this group on Lyra. He's like, that's my idea. So you basically go to the source of who who started this, you know, who shot first in this incident. And if you get that name and essentially pass the blame, because essentially a brick didn't really do anything wrong. He was just kind of this more vocal about the Serene Mender siding with Lyra, which the Silent Raiders didn't like. So this is kind of coming back to bite him. So that was that's his proposal, which sounds good to me. I just go find I have to go find who's in charge of this group. All right, let's, let's go ahead and roll up a name for this kind of group that's conflicting with the Silent Raiders. Um, and I also kind of want to figure out what happened. What was this incident that I kind of keep alluding to where they kind of um, are butting heads with? So factions, let's get a quick name for this group on Lyra. It's, uh, Identity of the Legacy Affiliation. So this is the... Um, it is the Guardians of the Golden Court is this, uh, we'll say it's a smaller group on Lyra that had this conflict with the Silent Raiders that ultimately the Serene Menders kind of sided with the Guardians of the Golden Court. Uh, let me real quick also add in them to my uh, little factions sheet here. Cool. Okay, so they've been added in. Yeah, Guardians of the Golden Court, it's a small group on Lyra, it's a conflict with the Silent Raiders. Uh, okay, so the last thing, uh, I'm probably going to wrap up here soon, but the last thing I, while I'm talking to Brick is I'm like, okay, well, what what exactly happened between the Guardians of the Golden Court and the Silent Raiders? What was this conflict? What was this incident that happened that then the Federation of Serene Menders decided to side with the Guardians of the Golden Court? Um... And maybe we can just, you know, I don't really have any ideas, so we can just do some uh, oracle rules on maybe, do like an action theme to see, maybe that'll give me an idea. So construct debt. I kind of like construct, maybe roll another theme roll. Construct memory, let me get another action. And I'll kind of maybe work with these source. So construct debt, construct memory, or it could be journey. Debt, debt journey. Let me try to like switch these words around a bit, see if I can make something work in my head. Okay, so I rolled another action roll and I got destroy. Uh, I, I like debt as the theme. There's some debt that needs paid. And so we got destroy. I think maybe this, this, this gives me a good idea is that at some point, the guardians of the golden court had some agreement with the silent raiders. Maybe in the past, the Guardians uh, asked the Raiders for some help on something. And then in return, they were going to pay the Raiders back with some some amount of money, some promise they made. And essentially, they were like, you know what? Maybe there was some issue with what the Raiders did, or maybe the Raiders did what they said they were going to do. But at the end of the day, the Guardians of the Golden Court were like, we're not going to pay you. We're, we're not going to repay our debt. The debt has been destroyed, essentially. So the Silent Raiders were pretty mad. They're like, hey, we made an agreement. You were supposed to pay us. You had by this date to pay us this amount or you know, object or favor that they were supposed to return. And essentially the Golden, the Guardians of the Golden Court were like, nope, no thanks. And then I guess um, there was kind of some dispute or debate around Lyra about what's going to happen and definitely it sounds like then the guard the federation of serene vendors was like yeah we're we're kind of on the guardian side here that uh they don't need to pay your debt back and brick was very vocal on that and so that led to where we are now that kind of gives me a good idea of what's going on and i think we'll kind of wrap up there for today all right so i mean i think we made a lot of good progress today found Brick, we learned a lot more about who's hunting him, why they're hunting him, the conflict that kind of started this, and we have some idea of maybe what we can do to help resolve this, but we'll have to pick back up on this next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated, and until next time, I'll see ya.